Arctic Oven 2, the saga continues. To be some interest uh, on the, both these two tents. And I now have 100,000 views. So, my daughter's got mono, so we're too uh, sick to go anywhere as a family. But nice day here in Whitehorse. The uh, ice rink is coming to an end. I thought I'd talk about these two tents. Two winter tents. This is an Arctica, the Arctic oven. It's the old style without the uh, integral uh, vestibule. Uh, very good tent. On the website it says 65 pounds. I think it's more like 75 pounds in the bag. With all the stuff ready to go. So that's the Arctica by Arctic oven. This little tent's a 20 pounder. And it's uh, an Empire canvas, canvas tent. You can see much smaller, much easier to pack. Some ways uh, it's a better rig. Some ways this is a better rig. Here's the components of the Arctica, big bag. The nice thing about this big bag is even if it's iced up, you can still get it in the bag. Got my uh, um, pigs tarp. Not tarp, but fly. This is the tent body, tent poles, little canvas, a uh, little square of canvas to put under the stove, along with a piece of aluminum I'll show you a bit later to uh, keep the floor tent for the tent of the floor from burning. And uh, we'll start setting this up soon. Thanks. Hey, come on in, son. So uh, we've got how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these legs. So we simply put them into the, uh, the pin here at the bottom, and then uh, there's a spider at the top. Our job is to put them in the spider up top. Give me another leg there, honey. So we got all the legs in. Simply uh, take these elastic shot corded rings and set them into the You can see it looks like the old style umbrella tent. Yeah. It's got a little bit of sail area so when the wind is blowing, but it's six-sided, this one, so that, uh, that spills wind a bit. Still a good idea to have this staked out pretty well. It's very strong, so you don't have to worry about it breaking in bad winds. Uh, this is called Vapex. It's a polyester material. I'm really amazed at how that sheds vapor. Okay, Very roomy. It's quite easy to sleep four in here with the wood stove. And you kind of sleep on the six sides here. Nice pockets. Yeah, nice okay. pockets. Another detail to look at is it's got this uh, high-low vent. So there's a vent. There's the low vent. And the high vent is up there by the chimney. And we're going to use these uh, hockey sticks in the woods. You'd use a branch, but this is a city way to do it. Hey, let's bring it all the now, son? Yeah. On the corners, see these things? Put those into the ring, all the way around. So that's uh, that's it. It's up. You'll notice there's lots of rings here. There's rings here. If you're in windy conditions, you can uh, you can certainly uh, 
do a very good job of uh, tying this down. If you're up north of the tree line, you can also put wind blocks. That's what we used to do when we were... Okay, there's a little stove that's called RT, R2D2 and it's made out of a couple of cans, an oil can and a coffee can lid. Another can for the chimney, which is a titanium chimney by Tie Goat. That's two and three eight chimney. There, you just roll it out. It forms once it's heat tempered. You put rings on the outside and inside to keep the shape. And what I like about it is it's eight feet, so it's uh, with the size of the stove, it's about two feet over the peak of the stove, two three feet, which is what you want. So it's got a very good, very good draft. Okay, so we got our little wood stove in. Um, see the great little titanium pipe? That weighs about 8 ounces or less. Stove weighs less than 5 pounds, made just out of a couple of cans. And it's uh, all the stove you need actually for this kind, of, this kind of tent. Okay, so there's our 2D2. And just a little bit of wood, and uh, it's. Uh, well, you got the door open, it's about zero outside, and it's uh, pretty hot in here, wouldn't you say, son? Yeah. Yeah, that's short sleeve weather, especially up here on the cot. Nice cot here with a nice little underlay. So we should be pretty comfortable, and that's not too much wood, but it'll probably be a fair bit of wood. And that little Two and three eighths inch pipe is all you really need. No smoking. We got uh, we got our two D two open. We got the valves open to give her a good fast burn. Yeah. And just a few little sticks, and she's uh, hotter than heck in here. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's about eighty degrees up here. How about you by the open door? I don't know. It's still really warm. Here. <laughs> it's still warm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and here we go. Boy he goes to bed at eight, so we had quite a wait. It's hard to get to sleep in the tent, so the well, wood heat was good when the doors were open. But uh a lot of heat coming out of there. So when we closed up uh, we had to change our uh, heating systems. Okay, here we're recording. We've actually moved out of the wood stove. Once again, it's just too darn hot. Dad. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the, so the wood stove is just too darn hot. We've gone back to our little buddy heater for this kind of temperatures where going to go down about minus 5 centigrade tonight or about 25. This tent is simply too well insulated. There we go. How are you doing? Good. You think you're going to be okay? Yep. Reading the dangerous book for boys? That's good. And there's little buddy. And smoke is clearing out. And here's me saying good night. Little buddy's in. R2D2's out. There you go.